Well, I don't know if this is just perfect timing or what. Um, obviously, uh, over the past couple days, well, especially yesterday, um, we've had this incident with this tiger shark in Egypt where this tiger shark, unfortunately, ate a person. And, um, I mean, not, not anything pretty. It was definitely a very rough scene. One of the few shark attacks that were recorded the way they it was like it was in a swimming area and plenty of people had cell phones and there was plenty of video of this shark attack and it was not only just a it wasn't a quick bite it was a full-on that shark wanted to eat that person um and <clears throat> obviously a lot of comments are going to be things along the lines of you know that's what sharks do you know Basically, we need to. I've seen we need to wipe them out. I've seen um, all sorts of takes on this. Um, that the people who are saying, "Oh, we're in the we're in their territory," that you know, those are the people that would have been wiped out a thousand years ago by the bear that lived in the neighborhood that you didn't kill. I get the argument, although we do not live in those times. If we lived in those times, I probably would kill everything as well. To be quite honest, I know I would. Um, because, A, it's a different situation. A whole totally different situation. It's not like we're wiping them out. No sharks or stingrays have gone extinct since humans have been around. All these sharks have always been here. Their numbers have declined. But we have lived alongside the same sharks and rays since the beginning of humans being here. Which is good news, I think. Um, and I just recently found that out. I thought it would have been different. But regardless, um, the study shows that great whites have almost no interest in eating people. And here's the thing. Um, this kind of sums up everything um, with sharks and people, in my opinion. I haven't even read the article, but that statement alone, like, most people should already know that. Like, just because something happens one out of a million times doesn't mean that it's common or it's something that we need to really worry about. There are precautions you can take. Absolutely, there are precautions you can take to make sure that that stuff does not happen to you. Um, one of the precautions is swimming in areas that are, you know, meant to be swimming. Um, if you know there are sharks in the area, um, don't go to... You just, you gotta know what you're doing. Um... I wouldn't jump in the middle of, um, off of Bean Point during tarpon season, which is a place here in Florida. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's right off of, um, oh my God, it's near, it's, God, what is the place called? Sarasota, it's Sarasota. I can't, I'm, I'm blanking at the moment, but it's not on the Pinellas County side. It's on the other side. A lot of water rushes past there. There are a lot of really big sharks in the area. There are a lot of, you know, and like tiger sharks and, I mean, hammerheads don't attack people. But there are a lot of tiger sharks. There are a lot of bull sharks. Stuff that could potentially end your life. I know not to swim out there. Especially during tarpon season where all those big sharks are eating tarpon. I know better not to jump in the water there. There was just a... Uh, like a 10-foot tiger shark caught off of the Skyway fishing pier. Made the news. Um, yeah, I don't swim in areas like that because I know those animals are there. Even though there hasn't been an attack there like ever, I don't think. At least that I know about. Um, you know, it's... I know better. But, it says, Humans and juvenile great whites swim in the same waters nearly every single day along the beaches in Southern California, a new study has found. Yet, bites remain rare. I think we've finally done, uh, what we've finally done is put the nail in the coffin on the old myth that if you're in the water with a white shark, it's going to attack you. Study co-author Chris Lowe, a marine biologist at California State University, Long Beach, told Live Science. The researchers published their findings on June 2nd in the journal Plus One, spelt with an O, not a U. The shark attacks are stream extremely rare. In 2022, there were 41 unprovoked bites and one fatality reported in the U.S., according to the uh, University of Florida's International Shark Attack Files. Yet perceived risk among the pi uh, public is high. The study authors said part of the problem, they said, is that there is very little data showing how often sharks and humans come into close proximity. To 
find out the researchers flew a drone over the beach in Southern California every day for two years, every month for two years, noticing where in the water they spotted, spotted people and great white sharks. Most of the juvenile great white sharks they spotted were at two locations, Carpinteria, which is just south of Santa Barbara, and Del Mar, just north of San Diego. Along these beaches, the research team spotted a human-shark interaction on 97% of the days they took the drone out. 97% of the days they took the drone out, they saw a human-shark interaction. These sharks were all located on the far side of the wave break, the line that uh, where the waves start to crest. Uh, uh, but so were plenty of people. Uh, while waders and bodyboarders tended to stay on the beach side of the wave break, swimmers, surfers, and paddleboarders were frequently spotted past the wave break, often bringing them close to white sharks. Yet over the course of the study, there was just one unofficial report of a white, white shark um, bite along these beaches, Lowe said. A few months afterwards, there was one additional record of a shark bite, he added. Uh, the young white sharks are probably more focused on eating animals like stingrays, which live on the ocean floor, Lowe said. And even though these uh, young sharks can still grow to about nine feet, uh, long before they reach adulthood, they might be afraid of humans, he added. Researchers are still trying to understand why juvenile white sharks were congregated around Carpinteria and Del Mar. One reason might be an abundance of food, Lowe said, and these young sharks might also hang around the coast because they aren't, uh, there aren't too many adult white sharks nearby to threaten them because they eat each other. Adult white sharks, which can reach up to 20 feet long, tend to live closer to offshore islands and farther north where they find more seals and sea lions, Lowe said, adding that while he definitely want to be more careful going into these waters, bites from adult white sharks are still rare. But with the juveniles off Southern California, the findings show that shark encounters are extremely common and not particularly dangerous. It's possible that someone, for someone to swim near one of these juvenile white sharks without ever knowing it. Lowe said that they often spotted sharks right next to or even underneath someone who apparently was completely unaware of the giant predatory fish. Uh, for years, we've been uh, saying we really don't think white sharks are as dangerous as people uh, to people as people think they are, or they've been taught to believe, Lowe said. And with the research being, or with this research shows for the first time that it is true. So, yeah. Um, more about sharks. And then there's other articles. The shark launches three attacks on surfers in Australia in deadly atypical encounter. <laughs> the, the worst part about it when you're covering shark stuff is that you're... And the, and same thing with alligator stuff. Basically, any big animal that attacks people, you're like... Attacks are extremely rare, which statistically is very true. Statistically, the, the chance of getting attacked by a shark are like bottom of the barrel you don't have to worry about it it's like one of the last things you have to worry about like dying from a snake bite here in the united states <clears throat> statistically it's like doesn't happen anymore there's like five people a year and oftentimes it's because it's their pet snake that isn't from here so like native snake species it's very very rare for someone to actually get bit and die from one but when it does make the news it makes the news you don't hear about the dog attacking and killing somebody. Who cares about the dog? Like, uh, ten times more people die from dog attacks every single year than sharks. But when shark attacks happen, it's crazy. And then you're like, oh, well, it's atypical. Like, you know, dog attacks are blamed on pit bulls and, you know, aggressive species. But white sharks, they're... I have seen, personally, a bull shark, about an eight-foot bull shark, swim around a person in the water... And swim off. I was in a boat looking for tarpon. And the shark swam up to the person. Did a loop around them. And swam off. The person never even knew it. And this was off of Fort DeSoto. This is like. You know there was a ton of people out there. They don't mess with people. 99% of the time. We know about it. Because when they do mess with people. It's usually a bigger deal. You know if a great white shark that's 9 feet long. Even a juvenile. Really grabs onto somebody but realizes by the time you grab it into him, oh, I don't like this, and then just swims away, you might still bleed out. You might still lose a leg. You might still die. They don't 
they normally they like I don't know of any real instances where a shark, a great white, came back and actually ate somebody. I'm pro there probably has been, but not many that I'm aware of. Yeah, there's times where a shark has grabbed somebody right in the middle of the torso, ripped them in half, and swam off. It didn't come back for the rest because they weren't interested. But it's kind of already too late when you're ripped in half. That tiger shark in Egypt, that one wanted to eat somebody. Um, tiger sharks are one of the few that will eat just about anything. Uh, uh, white sharks are very specific on what they like to eat. Some of them really only tend to stick to fish. The ones that we worry about are the ones that feed on larger marine mammals like seals. Um, and in areas like this where there are a lot of seals, like you can understand why you know a shark might confuse the two and there's a quick nip and the quick nip to the shark is life threatening um, to a person and that's really how you got to look at it um, it's very very rare it is very very rare statistically getting struck by lightning is also very very rare statistically but when it happens it's a big deal so I can understand both arguments behind it did this happen? This happened 24 days ago. Back him underwater. Bits of wetsuit were found later. I mean, ugh. Yeah. Yeah. Rare attack shark decapitates a diver in Mexico. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> God. But, you know, you can take take the bits and pieces of, um, you know, these articles and make your own conclusions about them. And as I have said many times, this stuff is rare, and, um, you know, these we kind of live among these animals. We kind of have to. Um, there's no reason to completely destroy these animals, none whatsoever. And I don't really, I haven't really seen many people call for that, but I have seen that take. And you know what? We just got to learn that sometimes people are going to be killed, and honestly... I'm okay with that. And if I get killed one day because of a situation like this, don't go after the shark. Don't. They're just doing their thing. I don't hate them. Um, we occupy this earth with them. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this. Really let me know what you think about this. If you agree with me, let me know if you disagree with me. I definitely want to hear it. I want to hear your arguments down below. So, anyway, thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, going, checking out my Patreon to be in the Discord chat. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay wild.